What's up guys, it's HammerDown48 coming at you today. We're going to be previewing this week's matchup against the Detroit Lions versus New York Giants. Who? <laughs> this is the home stretch. Home stretch for us. As you guys know, the Lions are first place at 9-4. and four. Um, These last three games, man. These last three games are going to be freaking tough. These are going to be tough, tough games. Um, so let's get started. Let's get started on this week's game. Um, the matchup predictor has the Giants winning this game 64.5% to 35.2%. I disagree on that. I disagree on that. I think it should be a lot closer than that. I think it should be very close. I say it should be 45 uh 45% on the Lions and 50% on the on the Giants. Um I'm going to go through let's go through passing. Let's go through the uh, the season leaders here. Matthew Stafford 312 over 468. 3,447, 22 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Eli Manning, 300, or 302 over 480, 3,290 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. So Eli Manning only beats um, Matthew Stafford in one category, which would be touchdowns, only by one touchdown. Uh, Eli's got 13 interceptions, though. Uh, rushing, Riddick, 92 carries, 357 yards, and one touchdown. Rashawn Jennings, 136 carries, 459 yards, and two touchdowns. Receiving in, Golden Tate, 71 receptions, 80, 820 yards, three touchdowns. Odell Beckham, 79 receptions. 1,109 yards and nine touchdowns. So the big thing, the big thing about this game, our defense needs to show up again. Let me say that again. Our defense needs to show up again. We need to play. The Detroit Lions need to play like they did against the Saints. When we played the Saints, our defense was phenomenal. Stopping Drew Brees, stopping the running game, stop stopping them on third down. That's the defense that we need to have against the New York Giants. The Giants have the same record as us as 9-4. and four. Now, I've been looking at some weather for the Giants um, in New York because obviously their stadium is outside. Um, as we keep talking here, I'm going to look this up real quick. Um, yes, our defense it needs to show up for uh, to, stop, to stop this offense. And I'm, I'm going to explain here in just one second the reason why we need to, to stop the offense. Um, Give me one second, guys. Like I said, it's good. I, to be honest with you guys, I think this is going to be a very close game. <clears throat> I think the Lions can pull this game off. I think the Lions can pull this game off in New York. Um, I'm trying to pull this up right now. Um. Let's see, because I looked at it earlier this week, and it might have changed. Let's see here. Okay. All right, so right now, it's Friday. So right now in New York for Sunday game, this could change, though. <clears> this <throat> is light rain throughout the day. Um, it's, changed since I've, it's changed since I looked at it last time. Um, 
I don't know if it's going to be any precipitation. I think the <clears throat> the weather, 51 at kickoff, 50 quarter two, 49 quarter three. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to keep dropping like that, but um, I've been hearing that it could have some little ice, maybe some snow. I don't know. Um, we'll just have to see. Um, I'm not worried about that. I am not worried about the Lions playing in snow. We've done it before. We've done it before. It's not going to matter. So, anyways, let's get back. Let's get back talking about this. Why did why de our defense need to show up this week? Odell Beckham. That's another player we're going to have to watch. This is the reason why our defense needs to show up. We're going to have to we're going to have to cover Odell Beckham. This is why this week I am loving right now. I love Darius Slay. Darius Slay is the big topic of this week. I think with Darius Slay going one-on-one -on -one against Odell Beckham, I think this could be a very good matchup. I really do. To be honest with you, I really think Darius Slay could stop Odell Beckham. And I tell you what, if Darius Slay can stop Odell Beckham, that is their only weapon in New York is Odell Beckham. They don't really have a running game, even though the numbers does show it. I mean, they well, I mean, 459 yards, you know, <clears throat> they don't have a running game, so they have to trust on Odell Beckham to get it down the field. Well, I'll tell you what, if big boy Darius Slay gets a hold of Odell Beckham, they're not, they're not going to have a chance against our defense. This is the reason why our defense needs to show up. I want our defense to be playing just like they did against the Saints. And I tell you what, if we can do that, if we can play it like we did against the Saints, we should be able to win this game. And it should be a winnable game. Uh, this is also a kind of must win for us because we can clinch. We can clinch the playoffs this weekend if it goes our way. And it starts out with the Detroit Lions have to win this game. Then the Packers have to lose against the Bears. The Bears have to win for us to make the playoffs only if we win. So let me let, let me let me go through this one more time. The only way we can clinch playoffs this weekend is if the Lions win and the Packers lose. Obviously, that's going to be tough for the Bears to do. Um, all we can do is hope for a miracle. Hopefully it happens, um, but we have to do our job first. Um, anyways, if that don't happen, this is the reason why I think this is a must-need win because if we can win this game, and the Packers win, the, uh, win their game, then we can go into Dallas with a lot of momentum coming in. And then all we have to do is win one game, and we don't have to worry about Week 17. So, like I said, this is kind of a must-need win. Um, I'm going to check the injuries. There was a couple things here. Um, Darius Slay was questionable. We definitely need him. We definitely need him to stop Odell. Um, Levy, questionable. Eric Ebron, questionable. Riddick, questionable. Zach Zinner, uh, uh, questionable. Um, I don't know. i like to see Riddick and Zinner in this game. Um, I would like to get the running game going this week. I don't know if we can. We've been struggling with the running game. Um, but I tell you what, um, I really think the Lions can pull this win off. I th really think the Lions can pull this win off. And if they can, if they can pull this win off, you better watch out, Dallas Cowboys. You better watch out. Because we're hungry. We are hungry for that division. We are hungry for the playoffs. You know, everybody's been talking about Stafford's got an injury. Stafford's got an injury. That don't matter. It's just his little fucking middle finger. They don't mean shit. You know, 
He's going to man up. He'll be fine. But it's all going to have to start with defense. This is how we're going to win games, is defense. When we have to play good teams like the Giants, like the Saints, like the Cowboys that's coming up next week, our defense has to show up. If it doesn't show up, we're either going to lose or we're going to be coming back like we always do and win it. But I would really love to see this just like we did in the Saints game. Don't come back and win it. Go into fucking New York. Show them up just like we showed up the Saints. Shove that defense down their throat. Sack, sack Eli Manning. Get some interceptions. Do whatever it takes to show that we are the team that wants to be first place in the, in the NFC North and wants to be in the playoffs and wants to be hungry, just wants to destroy everybody. So I think this is going to be a good game. Uh, watch out for the weather. I don't know what's going to go on with that. Keep checking on it. Um, I think it's going to be a very good game. This, this is another test. This is another, another test to see. Can we go? Can we clinch the playoffs? Can we fucking win that division? Can we go to the playoffs and beat good teams like the Giants, Cowboys, whoever? This is a test. And it all starts with defense showing up this week. If you like this video, please hit that like sub button. If you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you subscribe. Let me see what you guys think in the comments below. If you think the Lions are going to pull this one off, let me see what you guys think. Let me see what you think about this game this week. Can the Lions pull off a win? Can our defense show up this week and stop the Giants' offense? Can we stop Odell Beckham? Let me see what you guys think below. So, like I always say, thank you for watching, and let's go Lions!